Right, our next guest was elected as the new chairman of the Republican National Committee just a, few for, a short few months ago. And now for the first time in history, uh, the party's nominee for president sitting in a courtroom for a criminal trial. But will this trial help or hurt the candidates? Well, let's discuss now with the chairman of the RNC, Michael Watley. Michael, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. It's great to be on with you guys. Okay, as Katrina put it, the GOP nominee, which President Trump is going to be, he is in a criminal trial, uh, and he is the defendant here. What are your initial thoughts on this and how it affects potentially fundraising and uh, winning this election in November? Yeah, we've been hearing about lawfare, and we've been hearing about the weaponization of the judiciary against President Trump for months, even years now. Now we're getting a chance to see it firsthand on TV all across the country, and everybody is getting a chance to say, holy cow, this thing is actually real. Uh, we've, we've got a judge that, that is uh, making sure uh, that the president has to be in New York for the entirety of this trial, uh, which obviously is going to limit his movements um, and, you know, potentially keep him away from his son's graduation. Um, but, uh, you know, for the first time, the American people are getting a chance on TV to say, wow, this is actually real and this is actually happening. Yeah, and Michael, you are also in the middle of all this, of course, a new RNC chairman in an election year in the middle of what is an historic moment. There has never been a United States former president or anyone running for president, the presumptive candidate, who has been in this very unique situation. How are you managing that as the head of the RNC? Well, look, the best thing that we've got is Donald Trump as our nominee. And this is a guy that wakes up every single morning and wants to fight for the American people. And so for the opportunities that we have outside the courtroom, uh, he's going to continue to work every day. We saw him get out of court the other day and go to a bodega um, and, and meet with hundreds of people that were out on the street with an impromptu campaign event. We had him out in Pennsylvania over the course of the weekend. I'm very excited. We're going to be hosting him down in, in North Carolina on Saturday. So he is going to continue to work. He's going to continue to move forward in campaign. And it's our job here at the RNC to make sure that we are working every day as hard as he does on all of the things that we need to do to get ready for this election cycle. It's coming up in just over six months. Michael, there's obviously turmoil happening in the House. There are calls for Speaker Mike Johnson to resign from a couple House members mm -hmm. right now. How do you sell the Republican Party to voters, to the American public, when stuff like that continues to happen? Look, the biggest thing that we do is we listen to the American voters and the issues that they put on the table, the issues that they care about, things like the jobs and economy, things like education, security, safety, where we are as a country uh, here at home and across the world. And when we put our solutions on the table and people have an opportunity to compare them to the solutions the Democrats are proposing, they like the Republican uh, positioning every single time. That's why we want so much to have a debate between President Trump and Joe Biden so the American people can see those two next to each other and contrast where they stand on the issues. We have real records that we're running on right now, four years under President Trump where America was a much safer place. The border was secure. Iran was in check. Russia was in check. China was in check. Versus what we're seeing with uh, Joe Biden right now, where the world is a much more dangerous place, the voters are going to have a clear contrast that they're going to be able to vote on. Michael, we have uh, about 20 seconds left. You mentioned the debates. We know that the former president would like to have them early and often. Uh, any insight you can give us regarding planning debates and them actually coming to fruition? You know, look, we are going to have to wait on President Biden to let us know if he's going to come out of the basement and actually do a debate. We have been very clear. President Trump has been very clear that he will debate Joe Biden anywhere, anytime, on any platform. Okay, Michael Wiley, head of the RNC right now. Thank you, sir, for coming on. We appreciate it. Best of luck going forward. Thanks, guys.